As brought up by the previous checkpoint, what is this effective current? In fact, we call this effective current the RMS current, which stands for root mean square of the current. What is this strange quantity? Well, this is the root of the mean of the square of the current. Confused? Before we explain why this gives the average power, let me demonstrate how you can find the root mean square current of an AC circuit. From the graph of the current, to obtain the RMS circuit, you apply the operations in the opposite order, so you first square, then mean, then root. Our first step is to square the set of values. The graph will be transformed such. Next, you take the average or the mean of the square of the current. Finally, you take the square root of this average value to obtain the RMS value. Does it look similar to how we obtain the average power by summing all the instantaneous powers? Yes, it is indeed the same thing and is merely an application of the distributive law. Let me explain why these two definitions of the average power are equivalent. If we have an AC current such, we can consider many different instantaneous powers, P1, P2, P3, and so on, on the graph as seen here. By definition, we then average these values to get the average power. Of course, we can then increase the number of points taken to make the average power more and more accurate. By applying the formula of I, P equals I squared R to every instantaneous powers, this simplifies the equations with I1, I2, and I3, and so on, being the instantaneous currents. By the distributive flaw, we can then bring the R out since it's a constant, and hence we obtain the definition of the average power using IRMS. Of course, if we take infinitely many points, it becomes an integration of the instantaneous powers, which we can simplify similarly with the distributive law to obtain IRMS definition. So we have found that the average power can be calculated by P equals I squared R, where I is the RMS current. What about the two other formulas for powering a DC circuit? Well, similarly, we can take RMS voltage and current for this, and the formulas will still work. Can you see why?